What's up, everybody? This is John Thomas of the Enigma Block here, and today I am back with your daily dose of bitch. Uh, today I am here to, to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Ooh, that rhymes. Uh, I'm here to talk about the Nintendo Switch and bitch more about it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, because you all know I love to bitch about things. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing to do. Anyways, uh, my first complaint for this video is the fact that, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons sucks. As all of you know, I have waited and waited and waited for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I was so anxious for that. You can remember my videos from way back when, you know, I was talking about how I wanted a new Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch. I got what I wanted. But the game sucks because I'm an entitled brat. I picked it up, I played it, and it's absolute crap. Look at the graphics. Look at the freaking graphics. This is not excusable for 2020. I it's like I almost forget that that this Nintendo here. This is a Nintendo. This is a Nintendo system. I'm expecting Xbox Series X graphics. If it doesn't have that, then what the hell? What? Why? Why am I? Why am I? Why am I like playing this? Then I, I should just migrate over to Xbox. But then again, you know, Xbox isn't my thing because none of the games there are kitty uh, platformers and games like that. So obviously they suck too. Uh, anyways, but my biggest complaint with Animal Crossing Horizons is the fact that there's watermelons. Seriously, look at this picture right here. Don't tell me this doesn't look ugly as hell. Now, in case some of you are unaware, watermelons are my least favorite food ever. So, if any game has a watermelon, a sighting of any watermelon in any game ever, it's an automatic least favorite in my game. I hated Luigi's Mansion 3 because it had watermelons, and I hate Animal Crossing New Horizons because it has watermelons. Then again, you know, I like sunshine because I'm biased, but hey, what what can you do when you're biased, you know? You like games when you're biased. My next complaint is the Nintendo information lately. Like, seriously, it's driving me crazy. We haven't had a Nintendo, any Nintendo information for me to bitch on in such a long time. Like, Nintendo needs to pick up the pace because I'm getting impatient, as most of you know. It's, it's a very common trend for me to be impatient, but this is definitely the worst time to be a Nintendo fan. We haven't had any Nintendo information since, guess what? Almost a year ago. That's how long we've went without any Nintendo information. Sure, we've had Paper Mario the Origami Gang, which sucks, by the way, and Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which sucks, by the way, but we still have nothing to talk about. Like, seriously, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I took a break from YouTube because there's a lack of Nintendo information. I came back today just to bitch more about Nintendo and just talk about games I don't like. But, yeah, that's basically how I've been feeling lately. Like, Nintendo needs to pick up the pace. And if Nintendo doesn't pick up the pace, then I feel like I'm going to be dying in the next three weeks from due to the virus. So Nintendo needs to pick it up. Like, ASAP, or else I'm gonna die. My next, my final complaint is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. As y'all, you know, I'm an entitled brat. So, obviously, if I have no new Pikmin game, I'm going to lose my mind and throw a big tam temper tantrum on video right now. Like, seriously, we got Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I hate ports. You know it. No matter how many new information that ports have, I will hate ports. Ports are the worst thing to ever happen because, as you know, I'm impatient. I want new. I want new. It, it's such a bad thing for Wii U players that, well, for people that missed out on the Wii U to play games on the Switch because the Wii U sold terribly. I will ignore all the facts. I just want a new Pikmin game. As all you know, I love Pikmin. So when they announced Pikmin 3 Deluxe and not a new Pikmin game, I lost my mind. 
How can they do that? How can they give me Pikmin, but not Pikmin 4? I'm an entitled brat, obviously, so, as you know, I want new. I love Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. I don't love it on the Switch. And I'm not picking it up. Even though it's Pikmin, even though it was something I really wanted, just because it's not Pikmin 4, I'm not picking it up. Just to make it clear, I'm not picking up Pikmin 4, uh, or... 3 Deluxe. Great, now my mind is reset to Pikmin 4 because I just miss it so much. Man, Nintendo. Man. Anyways, this is um, basically my video. Nintendo sucks, uh, even though I still continue to make videos on Nintendo because that's just how I am. Uh, yeah, Nintendo needs to pick up the slack. Uh... Even though I haven't done a make-believe video in quite a long time, uh, I'll get to it in the next 30 years. And also, don't forget, VOTE TRUMP 2020 MAKE AMERICA GREAT AGAIN. Because we all know that Trump is such an amazing person. Just look at him. Look at the amazing person he is. Look at him. Uh, I, I love Trump, but I hate Nintendo so much. VOTE TRUMP. Anyways, that was my video. Uh, anyways, uh, take care. I uh, hope you all are safe during the virus because it's definitely a major time. I hope everyone is safe except for the working at Nintendo. They need to work hard right now because if I don't have my games, I'm going to freak out. I, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, this has been Josh Thomas of the Enigma Block, and I'll see y'all when we get some more Nintendo information in like probably a few days because, you know, I like to over-exaggerate things.